for our legislators to be beholden to the NRA gun lobby and put profit over public safety, that's unforgivable and that's unacceptable. I think civil rights organizing and mobilizing is in my blood, but I really don't think that that was activated until Jordan's murder. 17-year-old Jordan Davis was gunned down on Black Friday outside of a gas station in Jacksonville, Florida. Investigators say 54-year-old Michael Dunn fired at least eight shots, killing the teen. I remember sitting there on the couch just crying and screaming because I didn't know how. how something like that had happened. I just talked to him the day before on the phone. He just told me that he loved me. And he just told me, Happy Thanksgiving. My child was gone and I didn't even know why. Michael Dunn is in prison for life with no parole. I always say it was a limited sense of justice, but it's not enough justice. One, because I don't have my son. And two, because there's so many other people in this country that continue to die like him. And with the laws continuing to be expanded the way they are, that more and more people are able to use their guns the way they want, no, there's no justice yet. I decided to run for office after the Parkland shooting. After I saw those children being gunned down, I decided that it was time for someone to speak up for people that were not being represented in Washington. As Shirley Chisholm said, if they don't want to give you a seat at the table, then you bring your own chair. <laughs>